Jamaica is green, fresh. Jamaica is very nice, you know. It's a nice tourism area. You have a lot of fun in Jamaica. Lots of river fall. You have the beaches, nice beach, white sands, you know, nice things in Jamaica. Jamaica is very nice. But, you know, we got a stray animal problem. We have a large uncontrolled dog population. There haven't really been any regulations that have been put in place to keep the dog population under control. So they're just out there. They're in, in every, almost every Jamaican home has one or more dogs. And in, in many cases, they just end up fending for themselves. They, they, they're scrounging for food, feeding on, on garbage or on scraps that are, that are left around the place. I hate to see them on the streets. And it's just because they, if the owners really don't really play the part that they should play and take care of their animals and they allow them to go out and they breed up. I hate to see them on the streets, fending for food and losing their lives as a result. A lot of people own their dogs, but they still roam the streets. They still get pregnant. They still leave their puppies on the street. Or a lot of people, will, their dogs will have puppies and put them out on the street. With a very large dog population, and we have a very small population of veterinarians, we do what we can, but still we have this huge dog population, that, many of which never see the inside of the veterinary clinic. So an, an organization like ISNN now has come along and working with us local vets through the Jamaica Veterinary Medical Association, you know, just try to address the problem, but we are really just on the tip of the iceberg. We've had several clinics over Jamaica. We've had it in the Grail, we've had it in Kingston, and we've had it in Ochi. The aim is to get people in the community to bring their animals in, with particular emphasis on low-income owners to bring their pets in to be sterilized. This means we try to prevent pet overpopulation by preventing pets from being able to mate and have puppies or cats from having kittens. When you try to encourage owners to do this, they kind of reluctant because they're not sure about the procedure. They think they're going to be side effects. They think they're going to, you know, the animals going to get sick. They're going to, they think that, you know, it's not a good thing to do. But, you know, we encourage them to ex and explain what exactly spain and uterine is. A lot of the people who bring their animals to us care about their animals. If they didn't care about them, they wouldn't be bringing them to us. But a lot of them don't know the proper way to care for an animal. They don't think about, you know, the food. They don't think about um, you know, what an animal should eat, the, the type of shelter they should get, the exercise, behavior issues, things like that. You're never going to get anything to change unless you start to change the hearts and minds of the people um, who own these animals. When the animals come, you know, they're weighed, the temperature is taken, we, we verify them as being fit to undergo surgery. And once they pass the initial examination, then we proceed with the various procedures and the pet owners collect them afterwards. We want to encourage the Jamaican veterinary medical community to hold their own clinics and um, adopt the models that have been adopted in the United States where you can have low cost, high volume spay neuter clinics. So that's part of the goal too is to, to help the actual Jamaican veterinary uh, community develop models for being able to, to run some similar clinics themselves because uh, one group can't do it all. Yeah, so this is just another way that we veterinarians can contribute to you know, the, the whole well-being of, of, of the country. You know, I get emails from people overseas you know, just asking about what they can do. You know, much of the time I refer them to ISNN as a, a, you know, a good way that they can you know, put that, that effort in to help out. With these clinics it's working.